Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick in another video and today I want to talk about my vision board that I shared with you guys a few days ago. It's actually this one and there has been some questions especially regarding how I cropped these images around the image rather than just keeping them uh, square. So this is a feature in GoodNotes. Um, but if you haven't, uh, if you don't know this feature, then you can learn about it in this video. This is the first time that I use a magazine to actually create elements for my planner, but I think it's an awesome idea. And in my post that I shared, I mentioned that I get all these magazines sent to my home. This is the um, Oprah magazine. I also get Cosmopolitan and some others. So I think that, um, I don't know, I just thought of, oh, there's all these images and I can just like snap a, a photo really quickly with my iPad and add it to my uh, planner. So yeah, I want to show you the process that I followed uh, to do this and maybe it'll get you inspired and in the future I plan to do a whole spread using uh, magazine cutouts instead of stickers so that shall be interesting I will um, keep you updated on that all right so first a vision board let me show you what it looks like when it's blank that's that's it there's nothing it's just like a blank area in your planner or anywhere else you can also actually normally you would like make this in a you know piece of paper put it on your wall so you can see it every day but of course i like having everything in my planner and thanks to good notes and this elegant planner everything is so easy and everything is nice and neat in my ipad so the way I made this, this is just the first magazine I saw, this is, uh, it didn't actually have like that many pages and it's not like I think of something and then I need to find it in the magazine but rather I open the magazine and then I find stuff that looks, you know, reminds me or something, for example this bicycle reminds me like yeah I want to actually start exercising and in fact I do have a bike where I can take my baby and I would like to go uh, to parks and then this happens to be a park so you know you you just have to like uh, flip through the pages and then things will like pop out or stand out to you and you will um, be able to use these images to remind you of things or goals that you want to achieve so another example okay this i would use for example and i would put like a forbidden sign on top because um or i can just draw it with my pencil because i want to eat better and cut down on sugar and all these desserts that i love so much but i want to lose some weight so i need to work on that then for example let's see what else do we have here so then of course you would, um, these all these words, you could like crop them and start building your own sentences or anything you need. For example, here you have take, you have the, etc. So, you know, just be creative, keep an open mind. And then this, for example, you can even cut out and use as a, um, as a quote or just a sticker to decorate your planner. Let's see, what else can I find here? Okay, this it would be amazing. I love the word read and I actually, that's also one of my goals to read more. So I will definitely use this one. All right, so yeah, that's just how I'm showing you how I would flip through the pages and find things that I want to use in my vision board. And after I find those things, I will, uh, for example, I will start taking the photos of what I want. So so this one I definitely want, I'm sorry I have like not a lot of room to do that here. So then just open the uh, camera on your iPad. So we have the words grade and read, you can't see but I'll show you right here. That's my photo. You see how amazing, I love the quality, it's just like the magazine and now it's just on my iPad so that's how this is so amazing so I'm gonna take some photos uh, of the magazine and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and show you how I add them to my planner all right so I went and took different photos these are all the photos I actually have my iPad on uh, split screen mode so this is the GoodNotes app with my planner open this is where I'm going to work 
and this is my photos uh, app so if you don't know how to do that if you are in good notes you just like swipe up from the bottom of your iPad to bring up this menu and then I have my photos app saved here if you don't you just have to make sure that you open it prior to opening good notes so it'll appear as your uh, recently open app and you'll have it right here so that you can just drag it and bring it up to where you want to use it and here you can change to have a half and half or you know have one app bigger than the other in this case I just need to see the thumbnails so it can be small like that so I have different photos and I don't want to like take too long explaining what each of these uh, means to me so I'm just gonna like talk about the first and then I'm just gonna speed up through the rest of the photos just so that we don't make this video super long okay so as I mentioned before this one that has the word read and actually the word great is really nice too but I'm gonna keep read for now so as you saw I'm gonna do that again I just tapped on my uh, photo drag to my planner remove my finger and then the photo is gonna be placed there then you can resize right here if you click on this green circle on the top you can rotate the photo and the interesting part is you can also crop so if you tap again on the photo this menu will pop up click on crop and then in this particular location I think that I want to keep the rectangle option you also have the freehand option and I'm gonna talk about that in a second with another example but for now I'm just gonna bring this box around the word read which is the one I want to keep so when I'm done I'm happy with the selection click done and then as you can see only the word read was uh, kept okay so I'm gonna place that right here perfect and that's my first cutout now I want to show you also I'm gonna drag this other photo so from here I'm gonna keep this uh, bowl because it looks like a healthy fresh meal and it's one of my goals to start cooking more because I never find the time and I want to cook for my baby etc so I'm gonna use this photo so tap on the photo hit crop by the way if you deselect the photo and it's placed you can still crop it so just tap and hold on the image and then click on edit and you'll come back to this uh, you know uh, position that you had before where you can resize or you can rotate so once you're here tap again click crop and then you get to your crop window then with my pencil i'm going to uh, select freehand at the bottom here draw a circle around the area that you want to keep there we go that's kind of ugly i'll do it again when you're happy with your selection click done on the top right corner and then as you can see this cropped the shape that I drew so now we have kind of like a circle I'm gonna put that over here and you can do more complicated shapes than that for example if I drag this one here I'm gonna tap again on the image crop and then again make sure you're uh, selecting freehand and then just go around as you can see you can be very detailed uh, I'm not sure if I want the different part. I don't think I do. So I'm gonna make this two parts. I'm gonna come back and get the dot later. There we go. So that's one. It's done. And as you can see, this is a much more complex cropping. All right. And then I wanted to have the dot also. So I'll drag this photo once more. Tap, crop freehand and then I want these dot so I'll come get it done and now I have the dot all right this actually looks so cool sorry this actually looks really cool here with the black background and I like it because it makes me think like okay what's next what are you doing now to improve all right, so that's how you do it. And just to show you how I'm gonna do this, uh, I'm just gonna like speed up the video, but you get to see what I'm gonna be doing, all right? All right, 
so for this photo I want to just say as you can see I kept the original straight borders of the bottom and left side of the photo but I used the cropping feature to crop around the flowers on the other edges so I think that's a really cool effect and let me just place it exactly where I want it there and another thing I want to tell you, as you can see, uh, my girl here is now behind this photo, so we can fix that. So I'm just going to cut everything I had, which is these three cutouts. So select them with my lasso tool, tap on that selection, click cut, and tap and hold, click paste, and then you can have them on top. Okay, and you just have to place them where they were again and that's how you can like start layering your um cutouts <music> So of course here you can add your own images, so I was going to use an image of a baby that I found in the magazine, but rather I should use an image of my own baby, which I have right here. So I'm going to crop out his face using the same feature as we did before. And then I can place it right here. Sometimes I like to give images a little... Um, outline so just pick a color with your pencil remember that if you don't like this color you can just select it with the lasso tool tap and click on color and you can select any other color I think I like that one and then just bring the photo to where you want to use it and you can resize again <music> So I'm done for now. I have a ton of other photos that I think that I would like to use. Yeah, I'm gonna actually add this whale. Alright, so I'm done for now. I think I still have other photos that I could use, but I'm happy with the way this looks right now. And all of these images have a different meaning for me, and I love being able to look at them. So, I don't know, I just love the way it looks, you know, the... Um, the quality of the photos is amazing it really looks like paper it looks as if i had actually cut the images and placed them on top of each other so that's really awesome and you can uh, use text too you could even draw 
if ever you want it you know add some dots or anything else so you have all these possibilities and you need nothing but your magazines and the GoodNotes app so that's so cool and as I mentioned in the future I plan to do a whole uh, decoration of a spread using only magazine cutouts so keep an eye out for that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified whenever there's a new video because I keep uploading videos related to digital planning and if you have any questions at all as always just leave your comment down below and I'll get back to you thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something out of this tutorial see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.